All right, I need to get this giant sheet of fiberglass into dimensions that I'm aware of so I can draw the right stuff on it. Luckily, I have a huge piece of cardboard with 90 degree angles, which is good. I need to square off the ends. It's funny how much easier this is when it's a little piece of paper. Much more satisfying, huge though. Now I need a straight line down the middle. Alright, on my paper model, this was in a foot. Sharpen that. That went right up to the corner. Alright, I got my line there and my line straight. Now I want to make a circular curve from right about there way to down there and end up being tangent with this line and just gradually come up. Which means basically starting from flat, it has to go 12 feet out and 8 inches down. So what's the radius of that? Luckily, math can help me. I happen to store very little math information in my head uh, but I know how to figure out a lot of things from the very basic pieces I do remember so like I don't remember the equation of a circle but I know Pythagorean theorem so I got a triangle here right uh, the length of this side plus the length of this side wait the length of this side squared plus the length of this side squared equals the length of this side. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Oh, we all remember that from school. Now, if I make c the radius of a circle, it has to stay a constant. So instead of c, I want that to be the radius of the circle. And that will be a constant. It won't change. But these other two numbers will change. And as this changes, I mean, stays constant, these numbers change to give me the different points on the circle in A's and B's or X's and Y's coordinates. And once I have coordinates, I can graph a circle on my thing upstairs. Now how do I get my radius? I know that I've got some coordinates. Uh, let's see, I've got... Let's see, 144 inches that way. And then eight inches uh, down from radius minus eight. And then I know I've got another set of coordinates, which would be um, the x would at x is zero. Uh, the uh, y would be the radius. So out of this stuff, I just need to crunch some numbers and figure out what the r's are. R. Alright, x squared plus y squared equals radius squared. These are some of my x's and these are some of my, my y's. Alright, I think this is what I need right here. I just need to solve for r's. Arr! Right, I guess I'm really 1300 inches. Hopefully that's right. Well, let's test it. Alright, there we go. x is 144, y is r minus 8. So let's plug that into our x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So x is 144 squared. y is the radius minus 8, which is 1292 squared equals 1300 squared. Hopefully that actually equals correctly. Oh, what do you know? This plus this totally equals that. Well, that's a good thing. All right, my radius should be correct. Now I just need to graph a circle with this. All right, I need my x's to go from zero right up to 12 feet. And uh, I need to write those in inches though. All right, one, 144, 132, 120. Oh, and this one, 144, I know that will be 1292. And the zero will be 1300. So what's the radius? Uh, here. I don't, I don't know. What's this number? 1300. 
Yeah. What? What is the radius? Bellatrix, what's the radius? Twenty-four zero. Twenty-four zero? Yeah. All right, we'll keep working on that. I totally used to get yelled at in school for doing it this way, but solving for y. Better not forget my two up there. Yeah, I might have a glad I have a calculator for that part. All right, now I just have to graph this basically that, like this. And I won't be able to measure up from the bottom, you know, 1,299 inches. So I'll just start at the top is 1,300 is and number? measure down, you know, whatever what the is difference is. Number? I can just do that in my head. Then make my graph. Wait, what? What's that number? 655. I didn't clean all the so, I didn't clean all the for anyone who says that math is never usable in real life, maybe you're just not doing anything. Good, but I just need to make some kind of curve out this corner. I think I'm just gonna eyeball that. I think I want to think about it, just to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Maybe I'll go shoot a fish. Hold the phone. I'm pretty sure I hear the blender downstairs. That means smoothies! Man, my face shield is getting too hot. Some more braining. Great brain. Come up with some ideas. What's next?